Welcome to Bonnie's Beat. I'm Bonnie Squires. I'm your host. We're coming to you from Radnor Studio 21 in beautiful downtown Wayne. We'd like to let you know what's happening in the world around you as far as politics and arts and culture, charitable organizations, people who do good for humanity. And we've got two of those interesting people with us today in the studio. We have to my immediate left, Dr. Carolyn Collins. Welcome, Hi. Carolyn. Thank you, Bonnie. It's a wonderful opportunity to be with you today. And the mayor of Yaden, Dolores Butler, a longtime friend. Nice mayor. to be here. I always enjoy it. Thank you so much. <laughs> they are here today because the two of them are co-chairing the statewide convention of Pennsylvania Federation of Democratic Women. It may surprise you to know that I have democratic tendencies. Oh, Maybe not if you've watched the show every week, you know, or read my columns in the Mainline Times, anyway. But they took on that responsibility. How many chapters, Carolyn, are there around the state? Around the state, uh, there are several hundred. Several hundred chapters? Several hun yeah, and a mm. uh, uh, couple thousand individual members. Oh, that's wonderful. And those, if I can add, the chapters are clustered into what we call regions. There are 18 regions. 18 regions, mm -hmm. thousands of, of members. Yes. And Mayor Butler. Yes. Not only are you co-chairing the conference, but you're co-chairing the Ad Journal this year, right? Yes, I am. Quite a job. <laughs> and too. you're looking for corporate I'm sponsors. I'm looking for corporate sponsors. I, I, I said to the women when we were doing this, and we knew the conference was coming to Delaware County. For the first time ever. For the first in time. 86 in 86 years. 86 this is the years. 86th convention. So our task is before us, that we have to make this a very special so that women will want to come back to Delaware County. But I said to the women, we have been soliciting ads from our hairdressers, the barber, the guy down the street, people the that we know. People. I said, we buy <laughs> Hondas, we buy Fords, we buy Buicks. You bank? We, we bank. <laughs> All right, you know. And so we need to go and let these people know that you know, we, we're here. We're looking for law firms, mm -hmm. looking for hospitals, car dealers, for physicians, car yes. dealerships, yes. corporate entities. Absolutely. And they don't have to reside in Delaware County. No, they do not. Because they're going to reach about 300 women Absolutely. from across the state. And in my letter to corporations, I am saying to them that women make many decisions of purchases that are made. We do the banking, we decide on health care, we decide on what color car and what kind of car. So you need to realize that we're out there and that we just don't want to be in men's magazines but get into our journal. Yes, <laughs> I, yes all of the above. <laughs> yeah, well, let's tell people the specifics of this year's convention. It starts on June 27th. Yeah. Okay. No, no, no. It, let, 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 me, let me talk a little bit about that. Okay. Because the literature that we gave you uh, has a pre-convention tour ah, on June okay. 27, 2013. Okay. Now, that tour will take the ladies from our convention hotel, which is in Essington, Delaware County. It's, it's at the, the Wyndham. Wyndham Gardens, 45 Industrial Boulevard in Essington, 19029. <laughs> and uh, we, after we get settled in that morning, Thursday, June 27th, we'll be going into Philadelphia to uh, do a tour. It, we, we have the trolley actually coming to the hotel, picking us up and taking a tour of Philadelphia and then uh, ending our tour with a um, tour of the Constitution Center. Oh, the National Constitution. National yeah. Constitution, yeah. phenomenal well, place. They yeah. welcome you with open arms. Yes, it's and very it's a fabulous it place. Is. Absolutely, yeah, and yeah. many of these ladies coming from Western Pennsylvania, uh, they're just chomping at the bit. Or Erie or Scranton. Yes. Some yeah. of them have never set foot in Philadelphia. Absolutely. Exactly. Yes. That's what's yes. so exciting. <laughs> Even though we're hosting in Delaware County for the first time, um, I know that they did have a convention. They hosted the convention in Philadelphia in 2000. 
well, in 2000. Well, 13 years ago. Exactly. So Who life remembers? has changed. Right? <laughs> yeah, it's a whole new crew of women. Yes. And um, we're excited about being able to be the host. So on Thursday, we'll do that. They'll come back to the hotel, and we have a few things working now to get them to the soccer stadium, and then have uh, that evening, we're going to have a pool party. So we'll have cocktails and everything around the pool. So we're looking for people that want to sponsor that event. Anyone that would okay. like to sponsor, have their name <laughs> in print <laughs> on Thursday night. Oh. Uh, we would love that. And then on um, Friday, we start with our uh, wonderful breakfast. And then we have uh, also an opportunity, what we're doing a little different this year, Bonnie, in addition to all the political, we're inviting them to also have a spiritual experience. So for about 30 minutes each morning, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday morning, uh, we'll bring someone from the community in, uh, one of the women that's from the county, and just let them give some spiritual enrichment as it relates to uh, politics and faith. In fact, we call it the Freedom and Faith Hour. That's what will happen. Do they actually go together? Yeah, they do. Uh, that's what's going to, that's yeah, what yeah, people yeah. need to be there to see. We have a lot of politicians <laughs> praying right now that they're not found guilty. Yeah, I don't believe that. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so, so, yes, politics that's and faith. True. That's true. That right. sounds so good. There faith you go. is going to be there the 30 <laughs> minutes of faith and freedom right there. But you've got a lot of events. Um, Mayor Butler, you've already reached out to the new attorney general, the first woman, first Democrat, Absolutely. Kathleen Kane, ever yeah. elected attorney general of the state of Pennsylvania. She's a phenomenal person. Yes, she first is. Democrat, and first female. Yes. And we did say at a rally that we had for her that we were going to raise Kane. Yes. Oh, <laughs> raising Kane. We I are love raising Kane, yes, so we so. did that. But we, we, Hopefully did, she'll be a speaker at a luncheon. I'm sure, oh, yeah, she, I'm, I'm sure she, had, she has come to us on several occasions while running for the seat. Yes. Okay. So she, I'm sure she knows we are still raising cane. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we're, we're just waiting for her scheduler to close the deal. Okay. So yeah. we're, we're having a luncheon, a, 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 a night owl event, which will be, some of the women were saying, we're coming to Philly. They're, they're Philly, uh, what is it, Philly Sound. So we're gonna have like a little party. We're gonna have for some fun. Then we have a Saturday breakfast. We have a scholarship it's luncheon. It's called the Breakfast of Champions. And then we have an afternoon tour again. And then we have the Woman of the Year Banquet, which is the banquet on Saturday, where we, we um, have a, a very prominent guest speaker. That there, and we've reached out to one of the, the uh, our speakers that we might have, and we're hoping, is Jill Biden. Dr. Jill Biden, wouldn't yes. that be fabulous? Yeah. So we're, we're hoping that she responds. Uh, and then we're having our Sunday brunch, which would be the end of the conference. And uh, we have to give credit to Congressman Bob Brady. Absolutely. Because he's been behind the scenes helping our yes. wonderful co-chairs reach out to these yes. phenomenal women to get he, them to come speak. He really speak. has. And actually, um, he always has. Carolyn is the regional director, <coughs> excuse me, for the first district. Oh, and it is his territory. district. Yeah. Oh, so it's Brady's district. District, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, region 1 includes Bucks, Montgomery, Delaware, and um, Chester, Chester County. So yes. Because you've got people on your committee from yes. all the counties. I think you might even have some Montgomery County, too. Yes, we do. So yeah. the whole, the five-county Philadelphia area, You've got volunteers, where, and boy, are they working, because I've been to some of their committee meetings, and they've got a lot of people working <laughs> and chairing and co-chairing and, and catering and planning every oh, year. We've been planning since June. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, you have to plan these things a year in advance. Yeah, well, absolutely. actually, before June, because in June, we presented our plan to the last conference. Ah. So Carolyn actually started last February. Yes. So she could prepare the presentation for June. For June, which was last June. Well, it's very interesting because these two amazing women are very politically connected. Uh -huh. uh, Carolyn, share with people what state rep you work with. Right okay. Now. <laughs> I am the chief of staff for uh, Representative Margot Lomax Davidson. 
And that covers the I one. I never knew Margot's. That's her maiden name is yeah. Lomax. Mm -hmm. as I in, didn't know that either. As in Dr. Lomax. <laughs> I, I don't know. His picture I, was just in the paper. I that don't, no, I know. I don't know who, what Lomax she's connected I to. Did. <laughs> I don't know that. So we can't start that rumor. <laughs> I can only say this. Well, I'm going to call Margot tonight. Yeah, call her. We've, uh, we've actually been friends for about 25 years. Oh. And, uh, and maybe more than 25. Uh, right after I got married, I've been married 30 years. So somewhere How in could there. you be married 30, 30 years? 30 years, oh yeah. God. It's wonderful. And let me put a plug in. I'm married to Keith Collins, pastor of the uh, Church of the Overcomer in Trainer. So I've oh. got that going on. That's how I know so much about the faith and freedom <laughs> <laughs> working together. Okay, so yes, Margo, uh, she's the state representative of the 164th district, which is Buck, um, Milbourne, Upper Darby, East Lansdowne, and she has um, Drexel Hill, and, I believe. Well, Drexel Hill is up a dark. Yeah. Oh, okay. Many right. people call it Drexel Hill like it's separate, okay. but it's all in the same. I, I learned something. Yeah, I, I always thought township. Drexel Hill was I learned something. And Clave and Upper Darby. I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah Upper Darby, huh. Millbourne, and East mm. Lansdowne. That's her her area there. And Bob Brady now yeah. has that because of all the, the redistricting. Re sure, just like and Jack of Fatah is now my congressman. Is he really? In Lower Marion because they redistricted and now he picked up a piece of Montgomery County, which happens to be Lower Marion Township. Now, Lower isn't, Township. now isn't it strange that I just found out that Drexel Hill is part of Upper Darby, <laughs> but East Lansdowne is not part of Lansdowne. Did right. you not know that? <laughs> I didn't know that. That's a separate borough. East Lansdowne is not east of the east part of Lansdowne. Well, we know it's that Yaden is a separate borough. Yaden uh, is yeah. very unique. Bur it is <laughs> unique. It was always yeah. unique. On my first job teaching out of Penn, I taught at Yaden High School. I was surprised. When and I I'm that. still friendly with some of my students from blah, 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 from a long time <laughs> <Yes>. ago. <laughs> and yeah. it was always unique because it was always multicultural. Everybody always got along. Mm -hmm. That it, it was just an amazing place. Well, even even when we don't get along, it's like family. We don't <laughs> tell anybody. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, you keep it on the inside. <laughs> we don't tell anybody. Bonnie, uh, can I mention one other thing about the convention? You can mention 10 yeah. other things, Yeah, because this is going to be important for those that are uh, watching us today, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for them to know why they need to be a part of it. Okay. Okay? Uh, number one, women in Pennsylvania, uh, we're at the bottom of the totem pole, I think, out of all the states, Pennsylvania is still number 47 or 46 as, as in terms of electing women. 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 Mm -hmm. And so uh, that's important for you to know. If, if women are at the table, some compromise can be made, changes can be made. We, we even though we're known to be catty, at the same time, I beg we, your pardon. We, we bring consensus <laughs> but that's to a an good issue. Thing as far as you're concerned, okay. yes. <laughs> I'm and that then, lover, right? And then uh, the other thing is, at this convention, we are going to be hosting speakers that will help women prepare for running. So one of the um, the tracks that we're working on, Dolores and I, are making sure that these three things. We're calling it the three M's of. Uh, a winning because the theme for the convention let's back up the theme for the convention is we're in it to win it I love it we're in, we're it, in it to, to win, win it. it and so what will be important for people women to know you need to have a good message that's that's a loser right there if you can't get a message that resonates with the people number two is momentum to get people excited about being on your team, to follow you through to the winning line. And then number four, uh, you need money. So those are three, the three M's, message, momentum, and money. Money is three and four. Yeah, okay. Well, we're going to be well, covering that no. in different creative ways during this convention. And I think one other thing, and I'll let Dolores talk because you know I get hyped just thinking about this day. <laughs> What we're doing different this year that we has not been done in all the conventions I've been to, and I've only been to few compared to Dolores. She's been going 
for many years to the convention. But we're including a well, track. not 86 of them. No, not 86. <laughs> no, not many, no, many, no, 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 not many quite more than me. Many but I think we do have a member that's been to about 80. Yes. <laughs> really? Yes, you met her. Oh, that's, oh the, from Chester County? Yes. <laughs> wow. She's phenomenal. Yes. Yes. But, and she's an elected official. And Chester yes, County. she's a commissioner. commissioner. Wow. Absolutely. She just wore a red sports car. Yes, she did. <laughs> she says, I have so many buttons. I don't know. <laughs> oh, my God. I love her. <laughs> so anyway, what we're going to include this time is a track for young people. Terrific. We, we need a track of uh, educational track for those girls like 15 to 21 to really get them ready to run for uh, it could whatever. start a committee, for, whatever. For school yeah. board, for local exactly. Post, you know. Exactly. So uh, we are already working on that. So and that's another area we would love to have a sponsor someone that will sponsor a group of young girls that are in high school they may not be able to afford our registration so uh that would be you a good scholarship yeah, yeah, yeah scholarships for that yeah okay. we have yes. we have put that out and I, know, I, several I, people have said that they would be willing to do that and mayor butler also has a wish list for speakers and i think number one on her wish list is Michelle Obama. Absolutely. Yeah, we already, already sent her a letter. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Well, Hillary is leaving office. Yes. She'll have nothing to do with her time. Correct. Wouldn't I love it? We should invite Hillary. Well, also. well, I, I don't know that we did because of what whatever her, you know, her elected position was, but now we can. Because she's finished, like yes, she's finished. Carrie was just named yesterday. Yes, but I so. think I think well by June we we we'll need to send her a letter. Of yes. course, mm -hmm. well, we yeah. will not. Actually, our list is on. We may have to have a two week uh, <laughs> convention for all the people that we want to, <laughs> and all the people who want to comment. Yes, yes. yes. we have we yes. have yes, contacted we the so young lady people. from from New York who has been back in touch with us who owns uh, the Archie comic. Mm -hmm. She has a, Oh, she said yes. She has a wonderful story. Yes. A wonderful story. Here is a woman who was teaching school, and her husband died suddenly. She did not realize that he had the interest that he had in the, in the, the uh, Archie Comic Book Corporation. And so they oh, he wanted... he had the controlling stock. Yes. And so... She was told by her male peers that she could not do it and she should just sell it. And she kind of got very upset that they were trying to push her to that. And she thought, well, no, I won't do that. So now she's the CEO. Yeah, oh, isn't and that doing wonderful? Wonderful. Wonderful. So we're going to have her. She, Fabulous. she will, I mean, she will be an inspiration to women who think, can I do it? Absolutely. She's dynamite. You will just love her. She's just a ball of energy. Mm -hmm. June 27th. Yes. 28th. The, the 28th. Yes. The 29th. And then it 30th. ends up on the 30th. Let's put on the screen the website Please. so people can contact the website, find out all about it. The Women's Democrat, Democratic Club of Delaware County is the sponsoring yes, club, yes. and it's www.delcodemocraticwomen.org. Right. Okay. Very well, good. Well, you can just Google Pennsylvania Federation of Democratic yes, Women. That's, that's right. right. And, and we're on there, the, too. You'll see the convention mm -hmm. button. Right. You can click. Yep. Yes. Okay. We're looking forward to And I'm sure you're going to join us. Absolutely. Uh, of course. I Absolutely. would not have a convention <laughs> without you. <laughs> well, it's interesting because a long time ago, I was very active in the Lower Marion Arbor Democratic Women. Uh -huh. Now, I don't know whether we were part of the Pennsylvania Federation of Democratic Women right. or not, but it was, and Arlene Lottman was one of our leaders. She's mm -hmm. a very prominent attorney in Philadelphia. And uh, we got a lot accomplished because mm -hmm. we were able to push the Democratic right. Party places that they were a little reluctant to yeah. go. It's always the women who were, oh, absolutely. you know, if you want to run ahead. That. I mean, do you think we would be at a war anywhere if women were if women controlled Congress and the Senate? Absolutely, we're not, not. sending our no. sons off to play soldier. You know, I mean, it, it's just so many things. Health care would right. be different. Right. We would we would just look at it in a different. Would we have assault weapons on the street? I mean, I don't oh. I don't want to take guns away from hunters or people who need. 
But do we need assault weapons with, with a magazine that shoots hundreds? Hundreds. Yeah. I mean, it, it, the it makes no sense. Have that the military does not have them, so why do I need them? This young man with this last killing, <clears throat> his mother purchased Newtown, it. Newtown, Connecticut. So now they're saying, okay, you have to have background checks for, that's wonderful. Except that the mother passed. I could go and get a gun and give it to you. I don't, you don't have to report in Pennsylvania right. whether your gun is stolen or not. Oh, I remember when Governor Rendell tried, oh. because um, Mayor Butler also, in addition to running Gaydon, she also runs Representative Jim Roebuck's office for many, many, many years. I've been chief of staff for 26 years. That's yes. really, yeah. I, somebody said, I said I'm going to retire. Oh, she's and not so allowed said, to retire. I'm not allowed to say, you have to get a divorce from Jim. You can't retire. You have to get a lawyer. She's get not allowed to retire. Never, never, never. <laughs> you know, but... Um, she she just is amazing, but Representative Roebuck is somebody who stood with Governor Rendell and the whole Philadelphia legislative contingent in front of a police station in West Philadelphia, pushing for, I mean, how could you, it's like mom and apple pie, pass a bill yes. that says if a legal gun owner discovers somebody stole his or her weapon, they're required to report it to the police. And for some reason, the Republicans blocked it. They said no. Really? Yes. Why? I, so I mean, what was and, the how many years ago that was? Yes, I do. Oh my God. So now, why are you saying we have to go through all of this background check? And the guy who knows I have these guns in my house just comes in, takes them out. I don't have to tell anybody. Right. Oh, uh, you well, know, there is but, something but wrong with that. The massacre of the little elementary school kids in Newtown, Connecticut. That, everybody's calling it the tipping point. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, and, and that'll probably be one of the things that will be discussed at the Pennsylvania Federation of Democratic Women's I'm Convention. I'm sure it will. You know, I that'll be sure a hot topic for discussion. I'm mm -hmm. sure it will. Because when you have women, you've got mothers and aunts sure. and sisters and daughters and, and they care. And dear grandmothers. And grandmothers. And grandmothers. And great grandmothers. And great grandmothers. And great -grandmothers. <laughs> right, right, right. So. Well, with women, uh, you've got everything. You know, we, we touch everything. And so when you deal with our babies, you can forget it. Well, I think Abraham you know? Lincoln said, the hand that rocks the cradle, cradle rules, rules the, the world. world. We forgot that. Exactly. That That's is why exactly this convention what is so important. That, the, because there's so many <laughs> pithy sayings that we forgot. we've forgotten. Yes. That. Well, it's interesting because... Former Congresswoman Marjorie Margolis. Yes. This is her thing in life. She is president of the Women's Campaign International, mm -hmm. housed at the University of Pennsylvania, my alma mater. Really? And Marjorie goes around the world dealing with women in third world countries, teaching them how to make a living, how to provide for their yes. families, mm -hmm. how to get involved in politics in their region, in their country, you know? But we need to raise consciousness among American women, American yeah. women because they're few and far between. I mean, we have what, 19 members of Congress from Pennsylvania. Isn't that ridiculous? And one woman, that that's Congresswoman ridiculous. Allison Schwartz. Yep. That's it. Yep. Out of 19, Unbelievable. only Allison. And you look at some third world countries before the revolution, Tunisia, where yes. my husband's from. They had such a huge percentage of women, women elected to their mm -hmm. parliament. And then you look, especially the Pennsylvania legislature, what are we, 47th? Yeah. 47th yeah. in number of women elected or and percentage elected to the state legislature. Oh. Well, the women, and that's the on women. both sides. We, we should yeah. mention, even though we're talking about oh, us yeah, being that's Democrats, right. but that's, that's for both sides. That's right. The women's suffrage would be very ashamed of us, all the trouble they went through to get the vote. <laughs> we have to vote. And we just go mm -hmm. and vote and go home. And we're not sitting home making apple pies and cookies anymore. We're mm -hmm. out in the workforce. And everything that these men, I mean, men are deciding whether we should have an abortion or whether we should not. Men are deciding what we should, whether we should have our, uh, and mammograms. Men are deciding Sheesh. what we should do with our bodies. This makes no sense. Right. For God's sake, we brought them in the world and nursed them, and that didn't tell us what we should do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't think so. Well, let me remind people, we're talking with the co-chairs of this year's
Pennsylvania Federation of Democratic Women's statewide convention, which is coming to Delaware County, yes. the Wyndham Hotel in Essington, and it starts with a pre-conference tour of, from June 27th, and it goes through June 30th. A lot of exciting speakers are being planned, a lot of exciting events. They might even sneak in a visit to Parks Casino, is that right? <laughs> No, we're well, going to go to right Harris. down the street we're from down the Harris. Street from Harris oh, Harris, we're excuse right down the street from Harris. I, I only have a card for Harris, as a matter of fact. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where Parks is. I've never been there. I just, oh, Harris. Harris. Oh, we have to see Harris and yeah. right. We can't be calling out all these names until we know that those people are going to invest in our <laughs> No, we're not even saying where we're going anymore. We've got, we've got to just plug out there. Well, well, state law will not let Harris do, well, do look, anything. Just they figure everything else out. They'll <laughs> figure, figure that out. out. <laughs> but I do want to, if it's okay, Bonnie, can I give a phone number? Yes, please. Yeah, please. Um, for questions beyond this program, you can call 215-796-3981. Give that number again, Carol. 215-796-3981. There may be some questions that you have about how to get there, if you need to be picked up from a particular place, We've got jitney service from the airport. What meals, if you want to come a la carte. We've got uh, Breakfast of Champion, the Blue Carpet Banquet. We have um, so many wonderful speakers that will be coming. And we want you there. We're in it to win it. And we can't win it without you. So that number again is 215-796-3981. And I'll be answering. Okay. <laughs> okay. And Carolyn can yeah. sell ice cubes to Eskimos. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but I would like for people to call me. They may want yes. to come to Shoot. a local meeting before that time. Yeah. You might be a vendor that's listening and you'd be interested in having a table at the convention. I think we may do that. Let local vendors uh, come. That's a good idea. Uh, we're going to have a silent auction, but there may be some local <clears throat> vendors that have uh, product or, or even... Uh, informational services that you'd be interested in having a table at the convention. Yeah. We can certainly make those arrangements. And we are looking for items for the silent auction if so that people, anyone who would like to donate, I can't come to the convention, I'd like to do something, uh, I don't want to put an ad in the journal, but I, I do have something to donate for the silent auction. Mm -hmm. We'll accept that, we'll pick it up. Um, Just give us a call. Yeah. They'll accept any donation. Any, but also, if you have uh, people who are corporate donors yes. who would like to uh, support the ad journal, yes. for 1500 they can get the inside front cover, the inside back cover. For 1000 they can get a full page. For 500 they get a silver page. For 300 they get a plain white page. Then it goes from 200 to 150 But... Uh, you got the phone number. Yes. You have the the web or the web address. Yes. Delco Democratic Women dot org. Yes. <coughs> Excuse me. All the information is on the website. Yes, it is. And this is the first time that the ad journal has become a journal. Yes. Yes. And since Mayor Butler is co-chairing <laughs> with the name of your co-chair. Martha Smith. Martha Smith. Commissioner Martha Com Smith from yes. Chester County. Elected official. An elected, elected official. official. That's yes. right. With a new red car. With a new red car. <laughs> so uh, they're really planning on making this yes. a spectacular journal. Yes. Yes. Uh, maybe it'll look a lot like the Philadelphia Orchestra Journal from what? the Academy Ball Don't recently. Don't I wish? <laughs> which is like weighs four pounds, oh, which is amazing. Wow. Don't I wish? But this is amazing. And, you know, to attract 300 women from across the state, all coming to Delaware County to fill the coffers of hotels and That's restaurants right. and right. shops and right. whatever. And may I add that this was presented to, comp to the uh, conference last year. We were in Hidden Valley, mm -hmm. and at the time um, Carolyn presented it, she also said anyone who signs up today gets a 20% 20, 20 discount, and people took their checkbooks out. Right. Ah. So they started <laughs> signing up last June. That's they didn't wonderful. even know where they were going to what, go. What's the price for the entire conference, all the meals, all the tours, everything? Okay, very everything reasonable. is very reasonable, yes. 
uh, if they pay by May 1st, it is $200. For everything? For everything. All that your meals, your tours, your tours all breakfast, Thursday, lunch, dinner, right, everything. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, the workshops, the banquets, and your does tours. Does that include the hotel room as well? No, that does not include But you got a special rate from the Very special. Yeah, yeah. Very cheap. Very special. $89 a night. That you... With there it, is, with the refrigerated, no yes, yeah, right. it, and it's newly renovated. Yeah, it's oh, yeah, newly yeah. renovated. Newly renovated. Okay, they well, love we, hope us. To, we hope to see all of you, everyone, on June twenty seventh, and we'll be back again next week with Bonnie's beat. Thanks so much. I love it here. We're in it to win it. <laughs>